Hey everyone. Um, I was just doing a reading for myself and I I couldn't read read for myself. It was like I'm I was seeing the energy of people that I'm supposed to be reading for. And when I tried to clarify to ask if there is a specific zodiac sign or anything, I the cards that came out was the soul shrinker, the feline, and the um the, coll the Collective of Pixies card. So, I, I don't know, I'm assuming this is collective, I don't really want to do a collective reading. It feels like it's for a specific person, but I can't pinpoint who or what that energy is. It's like an, a specific person, but it's a collection of specific people, almost like they're all under the same umbrella. But it doesn't feel like the human collective or a soul tribe. It's, it's a very strange feeling, and I'm not really sure what the heck's going on, so I'm just going to flip some cards and see what's, what the... Okay, I'm being told to do a light and dark, so I don't know what this video is called, I don't know what's going on. We're just going to do one pile for the light, one pile for the dark. Kind of, oh, north node, south node. Okay. Light, dark, north node, soft node. What do the viewers need to know for their immediate now day? Not tomorrow, not yesterday, not sideways, left or right, but right now, right now. And the, and the immediate, like, two, three hours in their life. What do they need to know? <clears throat> Calling in the storm in reverse. There seems to be people working around you that have turned your world upside down. We're going to call this the light pile. We're going to call this over here the dark pile. Because the storm that's being returned to sender, whoever cast the storm to damage your life, that storm has been returned to the sender and it's like destroying their own life. It's almost like karmic, instant karmic, you know, repercussions for some ill intent. Let's see what comes up in the dark pile. I'm not even going to ask questions. I'm just going to flip these cards and see what comes up. Oh, how interesting. Look at that. 3-0 for calling the storm. See that? Half full, half faded moon. Someone very angry, but also angry because they're scared. And they were scared because they weren't like, I don't see anybody else in here. It's like they, they were an orphan of some kind, or they felt orphaned. Which is really strange that I'm even saying that, because I saw a picture of the goddess Sophia earlier, or Saint Sophia, and it said the saint of orphans. It's very strange. Very, very strange. And over here we have the number 2 plus 1 adding up to 3, but she's behind the laser grid. But the laser grid isn't, like, intense, you know, red laser. It's this... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's this, like, violet magenta of transmutation. It's like a bride waiting for her partner, but the partner is waiting for her on the other side for her to get out of that transmuter transmuting grid. Okay. Perchance to dream... Black flower fragrance. I'm getting chills all up and down my left side and behind my back. Or on my back. Um, clear your energy, please. State verbally that you intend to have your energy cleansed by source transparent light. Transparent source light. Close your eyes and be aware of your heart. Even if you don't know how, just tell your mind, I am aware of my heart right now. Now put your awareness into the inside of your heart. Feel what you can. There is no right way or wrong way to do this. Simply feel what you can within your heart. 
there's some turmoil in there that has attracted turmoil from the outside and that issue seems to be with a feminine energy that is chaotic without masculine anchor. What, what this is showing me is that the vibrations within you are emitting a sense of wounded animal scent, like a vibration of a wounded animal protecting itself. But there's no reason to protect yourself. The simple act of thinking, or the thought of thinking you have to protect yourself, creates reasons for you to protect yourself, to realize you never needed to protect yourself. You're indestructible. The light has no reason for armor or weapons. Uh, one more card on calling the storm, please. Cultivate love. I just saw, saw a champagne bottle. Shaw? Did I just say I just Shaw? Isn't Shaw a king in Farsi? Sebastian? Selena. There's these weird words I'm hearing so clearly. Sebastian, Selena, Lillian, Liana. Artemis? What the fuck? Bride in a cage, please. One card on that. The, the deck with the key is called Magic of You by Fiona Horn. This deck is the Black Mirror, and I'm not certain where the box is because it's somewhere in there. Being covered up by Gaia. <laughs> you can find it on Amazon. It's probably somewhere on the like, well, just type Black Mirror Tarot deck or Oracle deck and you'll find it. Number four, doable. Again with this card, man. This card has come up in almost every single reading I've done utilizing this deck. Every single one. I don't, I'm, I'm feeling a very intense sensation of frustration. Really intense. Like, it's, it's as if your guides are telling me your higher self, your own energy. It's like you're tired of constantly battling the storm when all you want to be is an effervescent being cultivating love and being free-flowing and happy. It's almost like a Gemini that's been way too stuck in the analytical aspect and the get things done aspect of an Aries or like the, the structural foundation of, of a Capricorn that has imprisoned itself. Or like a, a Sagittarius that's constantly wandering, trying to find a tribe to belong to, but it's creating more chaos than it is pet peace. This could also be a part of someone, a female energy that is, genitalia is irrelevant. The female energy that is longing for a partner, but that longing is keeping the partner outside of the sphere of what you can reach for. I mean, as cheesy as it sounds, it's like, love yourself. Stop trying to get somebody else to love you for you. Stop trying to get anybody else to give you the key. And stop thinking that nobody loves you. You don't have to fight the elements to, to find the vibration of love within you. You don't have to tear up the past or every toxic connection in your existence to, to feel the love that's already there in you. You don't have to imprison yourself and isolate yourself and like constantly perfect yourself in order to find the way to move forward in life. Just move forward. If you fall and stumble, who cares? That's how you learn how to get up quicker and quicker every time. I'm being shown when, when I was younger, my uncles used to do a lot of break dancing. I don't know if many of you know what that is. They'd spin on the floor, they'd do all these leg spin. Like, it was weird and awesome. And it's like they're showing me that you, you're like break dancing in a group of people trying to get attention from them, but they're not paying attention to you. And it's because you're looking for that attention from them. It's very, very strange. Notice this here. She's in that cage, right? An illusionary cage of light, which means it's not even there. But she's decaying. 
like waiting for the partner to come, like the bride waiting at the altar. But she's not at the altar. Like you're not where you're supposed to be in life. So how can the, the keys and the movement that you're wanting come to you when you aren't reaching out for what you want? You're not asking for what you want. You're feeling sorrow for what you want like, and it's not there. It's like a lesson in manifestation almost. Like if you want something, stop trying to command it to you and let the love you feel for the thing you want or the person you want be the thing that breaks you free of the lack of that person. If there is chaos in your life, financial or otherwise, attempting to, to like isolate yourself or analyze the problem or like find the connections and try to see what's going on, it's, it's a pointless waste of time. The key is within your grasp, which means you already have the answer. There's nothing you need to do other than open the door. Now, this energy seems really, really, really ambiguous. Like, I cannot pin it down. It's almost like trying to pin down the wind. So, since it's being really elementally fluid, let's see what the fairies, the fae, the energies of the earth have to say about this. What do you guys have to say about the calling the storm in the verse? How interesting. Geo the slow and raw. Courage. The singer of courage. And himself. Bottom of the deck. Guardian of the gate. So to clarify, after, um, calling in the storm and possibly effervescence. This is in no way from from me, the human being, or whatever I am, to you, okay? It's been your specific human being self, or whatever you are. This is the messages from the cards, okay? If I haven't had sex with you, or if I don't, if I'm not biologically related to you, or if I don't talk to you on the phone every day, or almost whenever, if we've made no physical contact with vibra vibratory vocal cords to each other, then this isn't, like, about you. This is about something else, like if, if, whatever. This storm that was cast, right, it's been returned to sender. Someone was really, really angry and they did something to like tower their own life because they wanted movement and change. They found the courage to do that, but in that aspect, in that courage, it was misguided. So the lesson was slowed down even though the energy was pushing it forward to like explode into this effervescent love that would free whatever blockages there were. Problem is, the intention wasn't pure. It wasn't done with love. That's why the card Cultivate Love is here. Because the storm wasn't cast with love, it was cast with destructive intentions. So the Singer of Courage comes in to say, when you cast a storm, you're not doing it to destroy. You're casting the storm within you to find the courage that's been underneath all the baggage you've carried for years, slowly, without knowing it the explosion of yourself, the explosion of the courage within yourself that has been stagnant for decades. Destroying other people isn't the way. Loving yourself is. And I don't mean that you do something physical to love yourself. I mean really just fucking accept that you are love. You don't have to do love to love yourself. You don't have to do light to be light. You don't have to do truth or speak truth for the truth to exist. You don't have to believe in money to have money. You don't have to believe in God for God to exist. You don't have to believe in health for your health to exist. You are already these things. You have always been and you will always be the explosive force of creation cultivated by love. Attempting to channel that in angry, witchy, stormy, fucked up ways diminishes your power which limits you in what you want because no fucking king or emperor is going to go towards a wicked witch of the West. Nobody. No one is going to love someone that is draining other people. Nobody can truly appreciate who you are if you're hiding behind a false mask of darkness. And this was in the pile of the light, right? I think. So. 
you're not trapped, you're not bound, you're simply pretending to be someone you're not, and it's causing confusion in your life. And once you accept who you truly are, and realize your past mistakes were there to teach you the courage to be who you are, then the storm becomes a beautiful breeze that washes away everything off of you and reveals the love underneath. Um, brighten the cage and doable of the keys within your grasp, please. It will be the retriever in reverse. You've been waiting for somebody. Well, yeah, guardian at the gate. You've been waiting for somebody to communicate with you to reassure you that it's okay to communicate with them. And you're being taught that you need to have more courage in your life to do things. People can't cultivate love for you when you're denying the existence of love in your life anyway. The key to your freedom is the message from the angels within you that say you already are the key. You never needed to reach for it, you just needed to open that window. You didn't have to break yourself apart, you didn't have to bleed or do blood magic or like utilize elemental forces to get that key. You've already had the key, just open it. That's your house. That's your building. You're inside your own temple. Why do you have to break your temple apart to get the key to get yourself out? Just walk out the door. No one's going to come in, come in and rescue you from your own prison that you've put yourself in. So this person you've been waiting to communicate with you, to reassure you, to comfort you, to coddle you, to, you know, whatever, that's not their job. It's your job to have the courage, the fire, the drive, the authenticity, the wisdom to create and cultivate love within yourself like a fucking hurricane so that what you feel isn't withheld it's actually flooding through all of creation. It's like you're limiting yourself, waiting for somebody to give you an excuse to be a better version of yourself. You're going to wait for a long time if that's what your plan is. Phoenix, the singer of transformation, the transfiguration. And the Rar. So, who you were, oh, yep. Who you were yesterday isn't who you're going to be tomorrow. Who you are now isn't going to be who you are five minutes from now. So, Arbel the Parrot and the Fairy Guide, bottom of the deck, the Singer of Intuition. Let's get some tarot cards and see what else you need to know about this. Five of Pentacles. Someone screwed with your money and left you out in the cold, having you feel like you're not worth loving. Well, maybe they weren't ready to love you the way you are worth being loving, and when they thought that you weren't worth loving, they realized you weren't worth loving with the amount of love they were giving you. So they had to transform and step up their game while you felt like you were being blocked out. But what was actually going on is they were finding their connection to their own heart so they can communicate to you with honesty and integrity as a better version of themselves. And this entire time you've sat here thinking you're not loved. That you have to break yourself backwards and bleed yourself dry to have like a hug or something. We've all been there. Don't do that. I, I mentioned this in another reading. There's so many movies that... Look, message is not sent, but a message within you that is being heeded. So, those movies where it's like someone, you know, they, they're dating or they're, they're in love, but they don't tell each other. Like, like the notebook, I'm seeing the notebook. The guy wrote her like 365 letters. She didn't get a single one. She thought he didn't love her. He thought she didn't love him. She moved on to somebody else. He ended up building a, building a house for her and because it was her dream. And neither of them knew what the other one was doing. They both assumed there was no communication. But there was no communication, so there was assumptions of being left out in the cold. The storm was cast to push away the cold, but what that did is push the storm back at the caster. To, to have the caster realize that they have been the storm within themselves all along. It's a very beautiful like message of quit screwing yourself over. You have real love among you and within you. You you just you're not seeing it because you're not on the vibration of noticing what real love is like. The King of Wands. 
what the fuck is this? King of Wands, Ace of Swords, Six of Discs. So, some dude or some female with masculine energy that doesn't know how to harness the wisdom within and it just becomes this like dark void. A communication not sent, freedom for self not accepted, and movement not gained, even though you can perfectly fly with or without your hands being bound. <clears throat> Six of discs in reverse. Feeling cheated, feeling abused and abandoned, feeling taken from, feeling like people around you are, you know, manipulating you. But the truth is, you've been manipulating yourself. Arbel the parrot. It's you that's been manipulating yourself with your own thoughts and your own inner dialogue, blaming other people in your life, when the reality is you're the one that has been on a vibration of where you're perceiving the people in your life as enemies instead of allies helping you to grasp the key within yourself towards transformation. What is this? Page of Wands in Reverse. Look, I'm going to be really blunt with you because your guides and my guides are driving me a little fucking batty right now with how much they're attempting to sugarcoat things for you because someone is feeling really, 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 really sensitive. And I'm not going to sugarcoat shit for you. So whoever you are watching this, I'm going to tell you this flat out. If you love somebody, fucking let them know. If you don't like somebody and you have a problem, communicate it honestly, gently, and with maturity. If someone or something in your life is causing you discomfort, stop trying to destroy it and instead comprehend why there is discomfort in the experience you're experiencing. It's like a child being put in a, in a playpen and there's sand in the playpen and they get into the, the sand gets into the shoe and the child just starts crying and crying and crying and whining and whining and it's like its best friend is sitting right there being like, I can help you. Like, I'm here to help you, but the kid's too busy crying. It doesn't even see the assistance being put near it. Don't be hasty. Prosperity will knock on your door soon. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Um, I just felt a really big ping of get cleaned up, clean your, like get some clean clothes on, go take a shower, eat some breakfast or lunch. Um, it's almost as if someone's coming to visit you. Every important call is a close one. Don't be hasty. Prosperity will knock on your door soon. Focus. A great pleasure in life is doing what others say you can't. Yeah, the time is right to make new friends. I just heard Lucky Lotto. Pause this, write this down and go play it, see what you get. <laughs> A fun party with close friends is in your future. Yeah. Guys, you're going to have visitors. Clean up your place. Many receive advice. Only the wise prophet. This came out yesterday, too. Um, which deck have I not picked from? Do, do, do. Rebirth, feasting, joy. Love, fire, sensuality, fertility. Rituals, power, and will. Destruction, ending, final moment. Humor, perspective, mirth. Silent, observant, wily. Compassion, release, relief. Okay. To boil this down for you, what all of that said is... You're walking into a tower moment that you created for yourself and you should handle it with grace because you you conjured the storm for yourself to create change, but you didn't intend it to create change within you. You had intended for it to create change in your outside world. What it's actually doing is creating change in your inner world because your outside world is fine. It's your inner perception of the outside world that needs to be corrected.
the mystic of peace. I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. Ashik Labron, the diamond heart of Dakini. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. I don't know how much clearer this can be for you. The goddess of discernment, Freya. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. Dang right. Perpetua, the saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. Would your authentic self go out and attack anybody? Would your authentic self gossip? Would your authentic self talk shit about yourself? Would your authentic self yell at a child? Would your authentic self hold unforgiveness towards anybody? Would your authentic self continue to remain in poverty when you know that God is your supply? Not other people, but God works through other people to bring you that supply. Those other people are not your supply, they are not your love, they are not your support system. They are emissaries of God supporting you because you are loved by all of creation. The only person telling you you're not loved is that fucking soul shrinker in your head. We all have it and we're learning to love that soul shrinker to, because it's been the aspect of ourselves that has been critical towards us because it loves us so much. So stop fighting who you are, good or bad, light or dark, it doesn't matter. Just allow your life to go with the flow. Um, I'm getting the message that you've been trying to see into the future far too much and make, cer make certain that you're going to be financially and emotionally stable. And I'm seeing a woman standing on the ground and the ground is cracking beneath her and she's like calling for help. But she doesn't realize that her, her pressure in standing in the same place is what's cracking the ground. Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Love is there for you if you want it. Go and claim it. Might not seem like it would work out in the beginning, but it will. Slow and steady movement of real, genuine love that is ever flowing. Like, look at how this woman is standing at the bottom of the cup. It's not a hand being offered. It's not anything. It's an ever-flowing fountain of love from the divine. You can fill your cup as much as you want and empty it and throw it everywhere. You're still going to be full of love. If there was a situation previously that you walked away from slowly, you're realizing now that you should go back to that situation and give it another chance, whether it's within yourself, whether you're like a fire sign or you embody the fire energy more, or you're an earth sign embodying earth energy moving slowly towards your goals. Either way, you're going to succeed in life and prosper and have a luxuriously wealthy existence, lovingly and emotionally. I mean, love and money is a current, currency. So blocking that currency off leaves you feeling in, in the five of pentacles, right? But allowing it to flow, even if you get hurt, brings in the love that you actually want. The financial prosperity, the success and victory and marriage and fame and unexpected allies in unexpected places. And even those that took from you end up cleaning up the, the circus ground of their own life with your wisdom and then they come back and bring you all that, all those swords and, you know, things they stole, they come back and work with you. Look, they bring back the swords. They bring back the things they stole. And you're being asked to just really stop fighting. Stop fighting what doesn't need to be fought, what you actually want, and what you feel. Because it's causing a really big blockage in your life when you feel arrogant regarding what someone did to your life. But they've moved on and you've been holding on to the grudge. There's no other sticks here. I mean, there's no other people holding the sticks. It's literally somebody self-sabotaging their own prosperity due to fear of being connected with. Authentically. See? You walked away from something and you're unsure if that decision has blocked your path forward or not. Because Four of Pentacles. Blocking something out, holding on to something, walking away from something. But being sad about walking away from something because it's not what you really want to do. You want to go towards the light, but you are the light. You're holding the light. So what are you walking away from when you have what you want already and you've had what you've wanted already? This could be about a relationship and yeah, look, 
a relationship in the past that you chose to walk away from. Ace of Swords within the Cup of Love, holding on to the past and offers not made, offers withheld. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you on behalf of everyone watching. Yo, if you, for the next 16 seconds, can actually live in the vibration of having everything be okay, everything is all right, it's okay, it's okay. Just put the past down, put all those emotions down, and for just 16 seconds of your fucking life, pretend that your life has never had a problem. Let yourself feel what it feels like to actually be okay. Not to think you're okay, but to feel that you're okay. To know that you're okay. Because the only thing in your way is thinking that you're not okay. That people didn't love you. That you've walked away from eight different relationships for the past eight years or whatever it is that has caused you to constantly be by yourself. The reason you've been by yourself is because you've been, the universe has been trying to show you, you've been holding on to the wrong people and letting go of the people that were right for you. And you've been spying on the people and you've been wanting new beginnings, but there's no courage because you're afraid of the happily ever after that could come. You think it'll all be disappointment and fear, but in reality, there's no devil energy. That negative energy you feel is the aggression within yourself towards the other aspect of yourself that is denying what you actually want to live. The devil is within you and it is in some way manipulating you to get you to stop doing this. It's like forcing this into your psyche to realize that this isn't your energy. This isn't who you are. You're not this, this. It doesn't matter what all those eight, nine other swords did. It doesn't matter what all these other ones did. You know what you want. You planted those seeds almost seven years ago, or maybe in seven different lifetimes, because it's a tree holding pentacles, so it could be like ancestry, like seven different generations you've been in a connection with a soulmate that every single time things fell apart. And now there's an opportunity for a new beginning, but the concern is still that things would fall apart. The advice is things won't fall apart. Stop looking at what was. Stop thinking of what, what you know, the worst that could be. Don't, don't acknowledge your, your fears or your worries. Block out the clarity you think you have. Because the real clarity comes when you focus on what you want emotionally. Notice a ray of light going into the ocean causing the tidal wave behind her. And there's roses in her lap. And, a ra and ravens whispering in her ear either way. Stop listening to everyone. Stop listening to anybody, including me. Just take a moment and really accept within yourself what it is you want. <clears throat> and from what I'm seeing, it's somebody that really makes you feel like you, you, you're home. Like you want to extend an apology to someone, but you're afraid they're going to be a douchebag to you. Or you're sitting there thinking, I should apologize to somebody, but you're being arrogant about it. The entire time you're off on your own somewhere wondering, oh, when's love going to find me? Love can't find you. Love is you. And the moment you give it out, you get it back. It's a current. It's a river. So extend an offer today to someone, or someone is extending an offer to you today, and it's going to break free of the stagnation you've experienced in your life. Aww. Yeah, it's time to embrace who you are and stop playing small. Really. You can't embody the Empress energy when you're sitting there complaining about he did me wrong, she did me wrong, they did me wrong, blah, blah, blah. We've all been there and I have portrayed that energy for you repeatedly in videos to get the point across by having you judge how I portray it to you as if it was me. But some people don't seem to think that I'm playing a role just sent by God here for you so that you can see what you're doing to yourself by looking at me and judging me with your opinions. And I'm telling you this clearly and your guides are telling you this. Cut the crap. You're not a weakling. You're not a peasant. You're not a princess. You're not a queen. You're not an empress. You're a fucking goddess and a god. Stop playing small. Look. Look at how the light just illuminated, the clouds parted from the sun. Right onto the Empress card in the tower and the chariot. 
it's time to stop being indecisive about what you want and actually invoke what you want within your life for yourself emotionally you want love love is already in front of you what's the problem being stuck in your head why are you stuck in your head because you're afraid of reconnecting with somebody because you know how good it can be to work together so there is the emperor you can be the lonely emperor on your throne with your you know queen of wands arm candy back and forth playing with you know oh i had a siamese cat wands his name was link and he looked just like that oh i miss you I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Um, do yourselves a favor. Be honest about what you feel and who you feel it towards. First and foremost with yourself. If you're feeling all sorts of frustration and anger and irritation, it's because you're tired of belittling yourself and keeping yourself stuck. You want love? Go get it. If you get rejected, who the fuck cares? Grow up. If you need money, go do some work, read some cards, do, like, I don't know, go help somebody else. If, like, you are you need a better relationship with your family, freaking communicate. It doesn't matter what they think of you, communicate. Arvel the parrot, release the messages. <sighs> I mean, if I could just put the entire human collective and, like, shake you guys like a mom and be like, yo, wake up. Wake up. The world is like in a fucking redonkulous state at the time of this reading. But like here in my neck of the woods, I don't even have snow. It's the middle of December, but it's so beautiful here by me. Why? Because in my universe, all is well. Even if I don't have financial prosperity right now, or if I don't have a true love sitting next to me, like right there right now, it doesn't matter. What matters is I'm here and I'm living my life, even if I'm by myself. I'm not going out casting storms on people. I'm not stealing people's followers. I'm not like trying to get in other people's lanes. I'm not, I'm not doing any of it. I'm pouring my heart out for you guys, regardless of what you think of me, so that you can adjust your alignment with your own authentic self. I love you. Take care of yourself. Stop being so difficult with yourself. It's really much simpler than you've made it out to be. 37 minutes, and I hope within these 37 minutes you've been listening, that your mind and your soul have found some relief. Just take a deep breath, take a bubble bath, eat something sweet, smile, watch puppy videos, play with some grass, just go sit there and like pull leaves of grass off the ground. I don't know, do something your inner child would want to do. Stop trying to be what your family and what your partners weren't. Because everything's a mirror. So what they weren't, you weren't. It doesn't mean force yourself to be that. It means just take a break. Take a break and stop trying to fix everything. And if you've wronged someone in your life, they're over it. Why aren't you? Because you feel bad, right? Because you have a good heart. So why don't you listen to that good heart of yours and communicate? First and foremost to yourself. You want to work on something with someone. Why don't you? That negative energy you feel isn't what that person is sending to you. That negative energy you feel is towards yourself for not doing what you know you should be doing. Because everybody has a moral compass. Everybody has a source connection. So if you want someone, why sit there whining about why they're not there? Do, 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 do. Here comes Prince Charming. <laughs> Page of Wands. King of Pentacles, yeah. Husband, contract, marriage, community, destruction of the old arrogant ways where you thought you were better than everybody else and above everybody else. You're not. You fuck up just as much as we all do. 
and that burden you've been carrying could have been a kingdom by your back right now. But instead, you've been destroying what you could have had. And the universe has done with it. You deserve to have love. And if you're not going to accept it, it's going to keep throwing it at you until you do accept it because you deserve to be happy. So quit being a little bitch. <laughs> quit being a little bitch. You have everything you want. Everything. You've already met the true love of your life and you turned away from them. <laughs>